Motorola One Zoom was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.39 inch Super AMOLED touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It is powered by octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 11nm processor. It comes with 4GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Motorola One Zoom on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 48 megapixel main shooter and a 8 megapixel telephoto lens and another 16 megapixel ultra wide lens along with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. There is a 25 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. This device is based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via micro SD card up to 512 GB. It is powered by a 4000 mAh battery with 15 watt fast charging support. It was launched in electric grey, cosmic purple and brushed bronze colors. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone was launched in 3rd May 2019. The phone comes with a 6.39 inch touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 and comes with 8GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Vivo S1 Pro on the rear packs a 48MP primary camera with an 1.7 aperture. It sports a 32MP camera on the front for selfies with an 2.0 aperture. It was launched in love blue and coral red colors. The Redmi K20 Pro comes with a 6.39 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED screen of 2340 by 1080p resolution. It has an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9 and 91% screen to body ratio. The display also houses an in screen fingerprint sensor. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor with Adreno 640 GPU, the Redmi K20 Pro also comes with Game Turbo 2.0, which is also said to optimize the handset for better gaming experience. On the imaging front, the Redmi K20 Pro has a triple rear camera setup that includes a 48MP Sony IMX586 camera with a 1.75 aperture, an 8MP telephoto sensor with 2.4 aperture and a 13MP wide-angle sensor with 2.5 aperture. For selfie lovers, there is a 20MP sensor housed in a pop-up setup with a wide-angle mode. The front camera is claimed to pop out in 0.8 seconds. Overall, it's not a bad phone at all. Honor 20 smartphone was launched in June 2019. The phone comes with a 6.26 inch LCD touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It is powered by octa core high silicon Kirin 980 processor. It comes with 6 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Honor 20 on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 48 megapixel main shooter and a 16 megapixel ultra wide lens and another 2 megapixel dedicated macro camera along with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. There is a 32 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. This device is based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128 GB of inbuilt storage. It is powered by a 3750 mAh battery with 22.5 watt fast battery charging support. It was launched in midnight black, sapphire blue, Icelandic white and phantom blue colors. The S70 is good enough to justify its mid-range price tag and soon you will know why. The Galaxy S70 is actually similar to the Galaxy A50 and follows the same 3D plastic design language but the plastic stands for glass-like plastic. With a 6.7 inch Infinity UV screen on the front, the phone is not the most compact option available in the market but it is still surprisingly manageable. The polycarbonate body with all the curves in the right places makes the phone feel sleek and relatively light in the hands. On the rear, the Galaxy S70 stacks a 32 megapixel with 1.7 aperture primary sensor, 8 megapixel wide angle shooter and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. As for the selfies, the Galaxy S70 uses the same 32 megapixel sensor on the front as well. There's thin optimizer, light focus portrait mode, flaw detection and many more options on the phone. Samsung has included 240 fps slow-mos at 1080p, which should be fun to play around. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 SoC is currently placed in the Galaxy A70. Samsung has paired 2GHz octa-core chipset with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. There is a dedicated microSD card slot that can hold additional 512GB storage. It can handle demanding games, offers great battery life, has super fast charging and the full version of Samsung Pay that lets you go card free. 